I would like for a man to hear this. A man should marry only a woman that has some kind of high value to him. Not to John, not to James, not to Victor, but to him. And then he will be keeping a woman safe, protected, like he is treating his Ferrari in the garage. And you don't take Ferrari just to a Kroger or Publix or any gas station. You take it to symphony, you take it to ballet and opera, you take it to ballet parking, and you're making sure that you pay a lot of tips, it's ballet parking guys, to take care of it. And a woman is always expanding and changing. She's not like a diamond rock. She's growing, she's changing. If a man married a woman at 25, she's not the same woman at 30, at 35 or 50 years old. She's always changing. And so happy woman is inconvenient woman. She's very uncomfortable and she's emotional. Because if a woman doesn't openly express her emotions and feelings, how will she express them? That's a question for you ladies. If a woman doesn't share what she wants, what she desires, she doesn't share her negative emotions that are eating her alive, she doesn't have the space to share with her man. How will her feelings express them? Physically sick, you'll start getting physically sick. Absolutely, beautiful, Sarah. Yes, if a woman doesn't express her feelings, she will become ill. First it's colds and flus and allergies. Then it becomes more serious like kidney stones, liver stones, bladder stones, colon problem. And then later, if she continues to ignore herself, that becomes tumors and cancers. Can we say that a quiet and sick woman is a happy wife? No. What kind of man would like to have a quiet wife who will cook, does laundry, has sex anytime he wants to, but she's missing half of her teeth, she has a kidney stones, headaches, panic attacks, and tumor in her head. Who wants a wife like that? If you would be a man, would you like to have a wife like that? No. 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 You wouldn't. A happy and an inconvenient woman, high value woman, listens to her intuition, and she doesn't go against her principles and her moral code. You can negotiate with her. Now I wanna share some two sad examples, but this is very important for you two ladies to listen. Many years ago, I had two clients. One came with a complaint that she couldn't get pregnant. Five sessions later, she admitted that her husband was raping her every day and she had a severe depression and now it became very clear why her body did not want to get pregnant. Now we'll share more severe case where a woman came also with tumor, panic attacks, migraine headaches, chronic pains in her joints, um, kidney stones, and something else out the immune system was not working. I mean, the list was like 22 or 23 items. She had three children, one was on a wheelchair. She had to work, she has to take care of the children, she had to cook, clean, and on top of it, husband was raping her every day. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this, will a happy, high-value woman, inconvenient woman, would allow a man to do this and on top of it having three kids and going to work and doing the laundry and cleaning and cooking and on top of it having sex with him every day just because he wanted it to. Do you get that, right? No. Yeah. Now you understand why they were so sickly and why one of them couldn't even get pregnant. A happy and inconvenient woman won't follow morally wrong principles and standards Everyone is doing tattoos. Okay, she will not do tattoos because she doesn't want to. Everyone has one night stands. She's not gonna have a one night stand because she has self-dignity, self-esteem, 
and moral principles that she is standing on. Now, a lot of modern days, a lot of them, are saying, well, because of the court system, men are treated unfairly. I won't get married. And will convenient woman agree to date him? Let's be honest. She will. She will. Other men will say, I'm financially unstable right now. I cannot pay for your restaurant. Let's do 50-50. Will she agree to it? Convenient and comfortable woman? Let's be honest. Yes, she will. Now, another one will say, well, I'm going to move in with you only if we're going to do 50-50 and only if you will have sex with me. But I'm not ready to get married, maybe someday, one day. Will convenient and comfortable woman do that? Yes, she will. And another man will say, well, I have kids from a previous wife and she hardly allows me to see them. That's why I don't want to get married and I don't want to have kids. And even though she really wants to get married and have children, will convenient and comfortable woman agree to it? She will. Now, another man who had gone through bankruptcy and divorce, pouring all of his anger feelings and all of his emotions, will she date him? comfortable and convenient woman and take all of this emotions in will she do that comfortable and convenient woman will take all of his anger all of his hate towards his ex-wife and will nurture him baby him hoping that he will do in return what question to you ladies admit to her yes and even marry her I'm so good, I'm saving you. You're going through bankruptcy. You're broke. And I'm listening to you, even though you're pouring all of your negativity. Do you get it? Is it convenient to a man when a woman has her own opinion? No. Most modern men don't want woman with opinion. But if she doesn't have her own opinion, she's like a fish. Fish are great, but they don't bring happiness. Now, question to you, what can you do with a convenient and comfortable woman against her will? Question to you, ladies. Anything and everything. Yes. Do you get it? Anything and everything. This is the biggest virus in our modern society. And the men do take advantage of that. And who allows them? Who? Us, the women. Yes! A hundred percent. Yes! And then she calls them. He's a liar, cheater, didn't get committed to me. But who allowed him? A woman did. Do you get it? This one's a tough yes. subject for me because of how oh, it's been me my whole life. <laughs> yes. Again, ladies, it's not personal. It's 90%. 90, it's a big number. So I don't want you to think, oh, it's just like me. Or some of it, it's me. It's 90%. Now, I will share even really severe case, but I have to. So one client came to me that was also years ago with a cancer, but I can't remember whether it was stage two or three. What happened? First, her husband was playing a video games whole weekends and I'm spending time on the porn. She didn't like it, but she didn't say anything. She just swallowed and continued to live this way. Then what happened? Her husband started to go on the dating sites. She didn't like it, but she was crying in a pillow, swallowing it. Next thing, her husband started pushing boundaries even more, start going on the dates dressing up, putting perfume, going out on Saturday nights, on Friday nights, coming back really late. She didn't say anything. At this point, she started to have a tumor and going to the doctor and going through the surgery. Next thing, what happened? Things got worse. He started to bring prostitutes over and said, you can watch it, I like when you watch it. Then he started convincing her that he wants to do a threesome with the prostitute. She agreed to that. At this point, she started to have cancer, but she didn't even know. 
Next thing what started to happen is that he started to bring women in and said, I want you to be in the next room. I don't want you now to watch it. Later what started to happen, he said, go out of the house. I don't want you to in the house anymore. Now, what did she become? A woman who fully lost herself in the marriage. How can we call her? I guess convenient because she did everything her husband wanted her to do. Absolutely. Convenient, comfortable, or some people would call her doormat. 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 Push over. Push over. But now, she came into the therapy and she said, Alisa, he is this and this and this and this did this to me. Did he do that to her or did she allow him to do that to her? She allowed it. She allowed it. Do you see the difference? We are allowing men to do what we feel in the inside. If we feel like we're not worthy, they will treat us like we are not worthy. If you view yourself as a high value woman, like 20 or $50,000 diamond, he will treat you accordingly. A happy woman, she's alive. She has interests, she has hobbies, friends, and she has life. Is she convenient to a man? No, she's not. Now, I don't want men who would be listening later to this program to think I'm making all men terrible. Not at all. Now, let me ask you, would you like to have a convenient man who will do anything at any point for you and loses his self-dignity and self-respect? Would you like to have a man like that? No, you wouldn't either. And a woman is seeking a masculine man, a provider, a protector, a type of man. But what she tries to do later is she's trying to make him a comfortable man who would please her 24 seven and who will talk to her like a girlfriend. And then later she loses attraction to him. And who is strange here? <laughs> and women try to do that with a man. I remember one of my girlfriends were saying, my husband wants to buy a motorcycle. He's getting brochures every day in the mail. And I know he will kill himself on the bike. 100% of men die 100% of the time on the motorcycles. Really? Do 100% men buy and die on the 100% motorcycles? Of course not. But she made it up. I said, okay. What if you ask your husband to buy you a car and your husband looks, no, women die in the car accident, so I'm not going to buy you a car. A man got to have their channel, whether they're going to play football or basketball or motorcycle, because they go to work to provide and protect. They accumulate a lot of this negative energy and they need to release it, whether on the bike or on the basketball or on the baseball. I remember another girlfriend of mine said, I don't want my husband to go play a basketball with his guy friends because there's so many women are sitting looking at them and I know they're desperate. I know they're single. And I say, well, that is about your insecurity. But a man needs to do the bonding time with a man because comfortable, convenient woman is also an insecure woman. Can we agree to that? Yes, yes. 